Hi, welcome to the next lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you the VHDL. Okay, so first let's talk about what is VHDL, okay? So what VHDL means, okay? VHDL coming from the word VASIC, V-H-S-I-C, okay? Which is, uh, which means very, sorry, very high speed integrated circuits, okay? We already talked about this on the previous lecture, okay? So it's VASIC HDL, okay? Now, um, I want to talk about the advantages of uh, VHDL, okay? So, first of all, VHDL can be used in any uh, FPGA or CPLD or even ASIC uh, in the market, okay? A VHDL uh, design can be uh, simulated and be st uh, tested before we are running it. We are running, we are running the synthesized uh, tools, okay? Um, and the synthesized tools uh, actually... Uh, the synthesis tool uh, actually translates okay, uh, your design okay, into actual gates and wires. And as you remember on the previous lecture, we talked about uh, these gates and wires. Okay, so um, this is uh, uh, something that you need to know. And uh, another thing is that a, a VHDL uh, programming language is a parallel process. Okay. So if you know a, a C language or Java, so everything is serial over there, okay? And uh, let's say that VHDL is the only one that is a, a completely a, a parallel process, okay? And, okay, so the development uh, process, okay? Let's talk about the development process, okay? What do you need to write, okay? Let's talk about the uh, development okay this is an n process okay <clears throat> so what do you need in order to uh, actually uh, uh, develop an fpga okay so first of all is writing sorry is writing a, a, a vhdl Okay, code. Okay, so first you need to write the VHDL code. Um, then you will have to actually simulate the design. Okay, uh, so I'll write simulate uh, the uh, design. Okay, so you will have to simulate the design, of course. After that, you will have to synthesize the design. Okay. Okay, so it's synthesize again. Uh, yeah, just a second. Synthesize design. Okay. After you have uh, synthesized your design, and actually, it's it was on the synthesize it building. Um, you know the all all the uh, wires and gates that we've been talking about. Okay. You will have to, okay, so this thing called place and route. This will be in Altera, okay, in Altera, in uh, uh, Cuesta, sorry, in Quartos, it will be called place and route. Uh, in Xilinx, they just call it implement, implementation, okay, imp le meant okay so you will have to place and route or implement uh, the design okay now what does it mean why do we have to place and route or implement the design okay so when you wrote your vhdl code you wrote just a code that needs to go and you know um, create your fpga that will have to do something and you don't know um, what FPGA is it going to? Sometimes, sometimes you do, but uh, your code needs to be, uh, you know, general, generic, and it will go. It will 
you know, fit to uh, any uh, FPGA. And the place and route actually taking your, um, taking what we have uh, got from the synthesized design, which is the uh, gates and wires, and just pl place them, okay? So this actually place them, as it's called place and route, which is the uh, right name to call it, or implement, okay? So we just place um, the gates and wires uh, so it will uh, fit to your uh, FPGA, okay? So every FPGA, it will do a different place and route and every, uh, you know, write in a code, you will have uh, constraints that will make it place and route or implement it uh, different, okay? Now, um, after you, uh, you know, place and route, you will have to uh, uh, make a timing simulation, okay? Timing simulation. <clears throat> timing simulation means that uh, you will have to check if everything is uh, uh, fitted into your FPGA as it should, okay? Because inside the FPGA we have, we can have timing issues. Um, we have uh, routes in uh, different lengths, okay? So you'll have to simulate uh, uh, your FP FPGA with uh, and to check the timing. Okay, you can do it in real time uh, with uh, connecting straight to the FPGA. There are many uh, ways to do this. Okay, and actually, on the last thing you have to do is actually to program your FPGA. Okay, program device. Okay. FPGA or CPLD, okay, or even ASIC, okay, and uh, the last one is actually same as the uh, timing simulation, but this is not a simulation. So uh, as I told you, you can use um, you can use uh, your uh, JTAG, your connector that you just used to program it used to program sorry the FPGA or the CPLD so the same programmer uh, called uh, logic analyzer and you can use it uh, okay so we'll call it real-time verification okay so you can use it to make your real real-time verification okay so now for Let's talk about the VHDL uh, itself, okay? So how how is it built? Um, okay, so if you have the code, code file, which always uh, ends with uh, .dot uh, .vhd files, okay? What do we have inside, okay? So inside we will see that we have a package, okay? Okay, we will have a package and an entity entity these names are uh, uh, saved saved names for uh, for the VHDL code okay and inside the entity you can have uh, architectures okay uh, most of the time you will have one you can have more than one architecture for every uh, entity. Okay. Let's just call it one arc. Okay. Architecture. This we call architecture. And uh, uh, right here inside, you can have uh, your code. Okay. Let's just call it process right now. Okay. This will be the process. And let's just. Uh, okay, on, on the last thing I want to say here is that you, you can have configuration, okay, but but this is uh, not something that you must uh, use, okay? So you don't have, you don't need to have a configuration, okay? And most of the time you will not see uh, people using this, okay? So let's just, I want to talk about uh, this part, which is the most important one which is actually uh, most of the course we'll talk about, okay? So let's just talk about the entity, okay? 
Okay, so this is the uh, your entity. Okay, and right here you will have uh, actually the interface, actually the entity declaration. Okay, entity declaration. Okay, and uh, beneath the entity declaration you will have the architecture okay so this will be your uh, the body of the code okay this will be the body of the code okay and this will be the interface this will be the interface okay this will be the body of the code and uh, this will have the R hit Tech, sure, okay. And inside the architecture, we have uh, uh, we have many uh, uh, type of uh, processes, okay. So we have uh, se sequential and uh, combinational processes, okay. So it can be sequential okay or com binational pro ss okay and right inside here you you will have a uh, more of a, a sub program okay let me just let's just make it a, a little bit larger Okay, so right here you will have, uh, sorry, more of, uh, right here you will have a sub-program, okay? Okay, so um, for actually uh, implementing any, everything to the uh, FPGA, we have the level of abstraction, okay? And we have uh, the behavioral uh, level, which we are writing our code, which will looks like something like this. Okay, and and this will be like algorithms and all the data flow and everything that we are writing inside our code. And when we are creating an RTL, when we are synthesized and place, when we are synthesized actually, we are creating the uh, structural. Okay, so this is the uh, will be the behave the behavioral part. Okay. And we have the uh, struct structural, okay. And what does it mean? Is uh, the structural part uh, is that we have it? We are creating from uh, the behavioral part. We are creating gates, okay. So let's say that we have uh, uh, this kind of gates, okay, and and so on, okay. So we are creating actually the gates, okay. So this is the uh, structural, and for creating uh, a physical implementation on the FPGA, okay. So let's say that this is our FPGA, okay. So for creating uh, uh, the physical, this is uh, the physical part. We need both of them, okay. So we need how everything is behaving, and we need um, how everything is uh, connected to each other. Okay, so both of them creating me uh, the implementation. Okay, so this will be like the place and route. Okay, so you just need to know this, uh, you know, um, you just need to know how uh, everything is uh, created. Okay, now this is, um, you can you can say that there are a, a couple of uh, levels okay for the level of abstraction okay uh, you have the uh, uh, layout level which describe the layer or, uh, in the silicon okay you have the logic level which is the gate level okay that describe uh, all the uh, related uh, to technology and architecture you have the RTL level which uh, describe um, every register in the design and all the logic between them and we have the behavioral 
a level which describe the functionality okay without uh, uh, specifying uh, the architecture if if uh, we have uh, registers okay so all of these levels actually creating uh, the physical level okay so you just uh, uh, need uh, to know this and actually this is uh, for this uh, lecture okay and i will see you on the next lecture and this is it for now and thank you